Greetings, viewer. Welcome to my channel. My name is Golan Star, where I make videos about whatever I want, and it just happens that I want to make Just Dance videos. This is my series, Just Dance Map Review, where I review specific Just Dance maps. If you don't know what a map is, it's the songs that we play slash select from the menu and just dance. The song we're covering today is Problem by Iggy Azalea, featuring Rita Ora. Let's begin with some background information. Problem and Black Widow are the first and second songs by Iggy Azalea in the series, because she has two in the same game, Just Dance 2015, whoa. However, this is the first song to credit her as the main artist, so you could consider it her first real song, and Problem is the second. These words are censored. Black Widow was announced during the MTV 2014 Video Music Awards. Remember when MTV was about music? Me either. Anyway, ha 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 ha, this happened alongside Bang Bang. This song was intended to have a mashup in Just Dance 2015, but the idea was not included in the final game. It's from the album The New Classic. It has a difficulty rating of medium, an effort rating of low, four gold moves, the victogram color is navy blue, the glove color is turquoise blue, the lyric color is red berry, and there are 223 pictograms. Now let's move on to the song itself. I really like this song in Just Dance 2015. It really screams Just Dance 2015. Honestly, why did they choose Built for this to represent Just Dance 2015 and Just Dance 2020's All-Star mode? Like, it's not a bad song. There are worse songs to represent Just Dance 2015 with, but Just Dance 2015 had so many bangers that were on Just Dance Unlimited or would eventually come to Just Dance Unlimited. So why not just use those? I mean, come on, you had Love Me Again and this right there. Ugh. But yeah, this is definitely one of the highlights of Just Dance 2015, which there are a lot of. Now let's move on to the background of the map. The background is filled with black and blue spider webs, which glow up purple and golden yellow. The background color changes after the dancer changes to maroon. It turns black and white and glows up white. There is a moon below the right corner. Before Rita Ora starts singing the chorus, it turns to a black and white landscape and the dancer appears in the background in black and white. A spider transition also appears. Some people might call this a pretty basic map with just some After Effects effects thrown in there on a static image, something not too dissimilar from Fight Club. However, the difference is that it's multiple images and it actually looks really cool. Besides, I'm generally more lenient towards the darker backgrounds because I like to play Just Dance like at night, so I don't need too many flashing images, although I, I, I will admit I do praise a lot of flashing images, but sometimes you just need a little less color and a lot more darkness. You gotta embrace the darkness sometimes. And this background definitely gives me that. If and when they bring it to Just Dance Plus, I'm gonna be a very happy little boy. Unless it's already added by the time you're seeing this, in which case, YAY! This background is great, I'm gonna give it a perfect. And it only just barely doesn't get a yeah, because it is just two static images with After Effects effects. Although honestly, I'm willing to let it slide this time. It gets a yeah in my heart. Now let's move on to the appearance of the coach. The coach is a woman with black hair gathered in a long braid. She wears a purple mask with blue curvy lines, indigo lipstick, purple tights with a dark violet blue part at the bottom that has a baggy protuberance on her back and blue lines over it, which resemble spider webs and glow up sometimes, as well as violet curvy decorations on her legs. Her tights merge with her heels, which have the same color and decorations as their two legs. I'm not gonna lie, the general darkness of the routine really takes away a lot of the finer details that this costume has. When it goes all black and blue, you do see pretty much all of the detail, but then the color scheme changes, so yeah. I do like all the stringiness in there, although why did it have to be that pattern specifically? And it's not a bad pattern, except it is kind of a bad pattern. Oh well, they do some pretty colorful stuff with it at some points of the map. It's very pretty, I really like it. And it's super complex also. It just has everything, you know? I'm gonna give it a perfect! Woohoo! And finally, let's move on to the gold moves. There are four in this routine. In the first, second, and fourth gold move, you put both of your hands to the right, and in the third gold move, you throw both of your hands up as you kick on your right leg. The first, second, and fourth gold moves all come at very climactic parts of the song, extremely. What's my reasoning? They come at art style changes, so yeah, I'm gonna rate them a little bit higher than that, but other than that, they're pretty basic, so I'm gonna give them a super, just to be fair. Although, technically, they should get a good, but I'm gonna give them a super. The third gold move is definitely the best. This one gets a perfect climactic part of the song. Also, a little bit of a change in the setting. Just a little bit, just a little bit. 
and it's a little bit more challenging. You know, you kind of got to get the speed right on your hand lifting. You can't just go at it however you want. Overall, Black Widow gets a perfect. Black, black.